Hey, how's it going? Chris here. Been load testing for the past, oh, just about 12 hours. Been running this LED shop light. It's about a 50 watt load on batteries. So I'm testing out this solar generator to see what it can do with the two batteries I have in there. And uh, let's go take a quick look at the numbers. I'm going to try to keep this as simple and sweet as possible. But this was a good test. Right now my bolts are sitting at about oh, 24.6. That's with the load on it. And if we look down here at the kilowatt meter. Oh, let's see here. Uh, about point, just about a half a kilowatt hour. And that's been at it for about 11 hours and 32 minutes. Realistically, you know, I did some fiddle farting around. I'm going to call this 12 hours and call this a half a kilowatt hour because I did some stuff. Uh, you know, I turned stuff off and was turning stuff on and pulling the ground cable off and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, so let's just call this 12 hours half a kilowatt. And that's a, that equates to about, for a 24 volt system, about 21 amp hours I pulled off these batteries. The way I'm having, right now, it's a 100 amp hour system with two batteries in there. Uh, two 12 volt batteries wired for 24 volts, so it's 100 amp hours. So you got to figure about hmm, 80% is what I still have left in the batteries. Um, I could probably take them down, shoot another, I would say 0.8 kilowatt hours, maybe all the way up to one kilowatt hours safely. But I'm not gonna do that tonight because I've been at this for 12 hours and it ran a load 50, it actually equated to almost 60 watt load on this system, so. Yeah, I'm going to shut this down. It, it did, it, realistically, this is about what I expected it to do. And for real world use, this is the type of something you can expect out of something of this size. You know, a half a kilowatt, you know, a half a kilowatt hour is actually quite a bit. You know, that'll run your fridge all night long. And then in the morning when the sun comes up you start recharging with the solar panels so the whole idea of this solar generator is to hold the load you know whatever you have overnight and be conservative overnight you know if you're just going to watch tv for a couple hours you know have a led light on and have your fridge going you know that's that's about what it'll do uh with two batteries now as soon as i had two more batteries in there yeah, you'd be able to get, you know, 1.5 kilowatt hours up to 2 kilowatt hours. You can do a little bit more TV watching or whatever other loads you need to throw on it. But you want to stay below, um, you know, that don't go below, you know, your, your state of charge below 60% or so. So, all right, let's shut this light off and see what happens. Do, 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 do. See how the voltage goes back up? A lot. Wow. Okay, I'm going to shut the inverter down and see. Okay. Look at there. <laughs> Impressive. So now the batteries are essentially resting because I have no loads on except for the meter here. And uh, it'll take, yeah, a good 10, 15 minutes before everything to settle down. And this thing will probably go up to 24.75. If you look at your 24 volt battery state of charge chart, that's right at about 80%. So there you have it. All right, cool. So pretty good test. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.
All right, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to show you something. Check out the voltage now. So that is resting at 24.85. So figure 75 percent state of charge after 12 hours of running a 50 to 60 watt load and uh, settled right down to about 75 percent. This is just reading you know using the state of charge chart voltage alone you know not using specific gravity and all that because these are AGMs. So there you have it. Cool. Huh?